presented by Edge Radio. I'm Gabby. I'm joined with Quam and Lockie. How are you guys? Yeah, we're good. How are you? Yeah, good. I haven't had my morning coffee yet, so I, oh, I, I know it's one of one of those afternoons, mornings. It's, it's, it's after twelve, so it's an afternoon. Well, thank goodness, I just got my own boost. <laughs> What, what do you? What did you have? What was your? What was your boost? I uh, wouldn't really call it a healthy one. It's just a monster juice. Oh my gosh! Mango loco, the coffee of the future. I I haven't oh, had yeah, one. Sure. I've I've never had a monster before. Is it any good? Like what, what's it? What's uh, it like? <laughs> well, from this flavor in particular, if you are a mango fan, then I would recommend this one. You would. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What other, what other, what, how much of it is juice? That's what I want to know. I don't think it actually is set around evolved juice. I think it's more or less oh. just a saying. Okay. Sounds good. Um, yeah, so this is the Thursday Lunchbox here on Edge Radio. What are we, what are we going to be talking about? Well, recently I couldn't help but think of the topic of the Super Mario Brothers movie yes. and how much of a, well, how could I put this? The more diverse, well, movie i think i have seen in quite a long time yeah so you you've re- I'm, I'm guessing that you've recently seen the movie that is correct have you seen the movie yet quam no i have not no seen it I, yet. looking forward to it though yeah i haven't seen it either but i'm a uh, i'm a big mario kart player i used to yeah so i'm kind of my interest is peaked uh for this movie but i've been i haven't actually had the time to see it ah, so good stuff so uh where did you go to see it? Did you see it at a movie theatre? Uh, yep, it was down at Eastlands, and it was around 10 o'clock, I believe, so you can just about imagine all the kids from the school holidays would be coming out and packed like a swarmed army. So the theatre was packed? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what did the theatre, like, were you in the really big theatre at Eastlands, or were you in one of the smaller ones? Well, I would like to think it was a bigger one due to the fact of how packed it was. <laughs> and when I first got in for the door, apparently it was all sold out. Oh, really? But then I rechecked the website and then yep. apparently tickets were available. How interesting. Did you? Are you a popcorn person? Did you have like all your snacks ready to go? Oh, yeah. I think I, think I had too much popcorn because <laughs> I had a really salty strain the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, what about you, Kwame? Are you a popcorn person um, with the movies? Of course, of course. Yeah. It's uh, the only time you ever have popcorn, I think. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, was the, what was the last movie that you saw, Kwame? Um, I'm not sure it's cinemas. I watched Driven, though, oh, the, okay. last weekend. It's about John DeLorean. Right, uh, okay. And the man who created the DeLorean car. Uh, it's a good movie. It's... I'm... I'm going to put that on my list. It's uh, on SBS <laughs> at the moment for free up there. So yeah. run check it out. Very good. Um, and I was wondering, was it opening weekend for Super Mario Brothers if it was a packed house? I imagine it would have been, but I wasn't unfortunately able to go there. Right. Because I think um, with my with my notes, my research that I've quickly did about uh, the Mario movie, it released in the 6th, 6th of April. Yep. So it hasn't been around for too long. Did you see it last week or this week? Uh, I believe this will be its second week because in its first week it has already made $700 million. Whoa. Yeah, being the biggest lot. video game adapted movie of all time so far. Wow. It's probably not many good game adaptation movies, so I can think I like of. the, uh, what was it, the um, <laughs> Tomb Raider? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> that was, um, and what was the other one that was like really early in the 90s, 90s I want to say, maybe early 2000s, and it had like vampires and werewolves? Oh, Resident Evil. Yeah, that, yeah. that's it, yeah. It had, uh, a couple I Mortal think, Kombat ones yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. so gosh, I, I had a much older brother, so that's how I know all about that. Anyway, um, so the Mario movie, uh, what's, the, what's the general plot of the movie without giving too much away. Okay, well, the best way I can say it is just about any Mario game you would have previously played within the previous 10 to 20 years. And it takes place more or less as an origin story, but I wouldn't consider it like a definitive canon by any means. I would say it's more a way of universal and Illumination's attempt of 
adaptating the story with, of course, Nintendo's approval. Yeah, gotcha. So did it have, um, did it have like the Mario Kart Rainbow Bridge? Oh yeah. Yes. That's also one of personally a favourite scenes of mine. Yeah. So um, what did you? So it sounds like your overall your you enjoyed the film. Well, I'm your, yeah, still very divisive thoughts? overall. Yeah. So what are your, your what are your thoughts regarding the film? Well, there is a lot that they have done good. There is no absolute doubt about that. But I couldn't help but notice that there were some things that I couldn't help but feel like they were either misplaced or just didn't feel like they really belong in that setting. Yeah, okay. Like, kind of like like what? Do you have a do you have an example? I think it has to do with some of the music, which the uh hold on, give me a second. The regular music that you would hear and expect from a Mario movie, that's all fantastic and beautiful. Yeah. I mean, there is more musical references in the movie. I honestly lost track. Yeah, okay. And there were other instances where other musical cue tracks would come into play and they would feel very not in the right place. For yeah. an instance, the beginning of the movie has the Kill Bill theme. It seems That's... misplaced. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then you've got something like... Uh, ACDC's Thunderstruck before the Mario Kart segment. Ah, oh. in interesting, odd, but interesting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, um, so what are what were some of the things that you really liked about the movie? So we've kind of touched on a few of them. Well, being the hundreds and thousands amount of references that any Nintendo fan would look upon and think, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Even with, like, the most hardcore fans, they'll even get a surprise out of it, yeah. I reckon. So there's a lot of references that um, true gamers... Like, could, above could and beyond, on. surprisingly. Yeah, gotcha. And well, despite how many references they were, they didn't feel, like, shoved down your throat, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, what were some of the things that you thought, thought could be improved on or that you didn't like? Well, this isn't a secret upon many of those who are into it, but the vo some of the voice acting cast, but then again, they are big named. Yeah. But we were all kind of, well, to put it simply, scared before it was even in the recording studio. Yeah, okay. Whereas we saw some that felt like didn't fit in at all, and then there were some that felt like just were made for the role. Yeah. Like okay. Jack Black as Bowser, for instance. Oh, yep. I can see that. He, yep. I, I know uh, there was a bit of controversy over Chris Pratt being Mario. Did he? Oh, yeah. Did yeah. he use the normal voice? Did he attempt an Italian? Uh, oh. I think the best way I can describe Chris Pratt's voice is how he tried to incorporate Captain Louis Albano from. The eight, the late eighties, which if for those of you don't know, voiced Mario way back in eighty nine in a cartoon show. Yeah. Okay. And Chris Pratt more or less sounded like his normal voice with a mixture of a American Italian stereotype. Oh yeah, gotcha. Okay. If Chris Pratt was from Chicago or something like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, either that or Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you have you got any questions for Lockie Quam? Um, well, I know from the games. I mean, it's kind of the same plot every game that Princess Peach gets abducted and Mario and Luigi have to go find her. Was you know, without kind of spoiling it, was that the plot or was it something more? Um. Well, you could say more or less that is the plot, but instead of Peach being kidnapped, it's more or less Luigi by Ooh. accident. I feel like we should have said spoiler alert. <laughs> well, that but I'm sure that's again, it early on. But I hate to brag, but it wasn't really because it was shown off right in the trailers. Ah, okay. Because I, I have to admit, like I'm now that you've said that, I'm more. I'm feeling like I actually want to go and see it more. I feel like that's terrible to say because it goes against, like, you know, like yeah, the game, the the original um, plotline of the game and stuff. And I'm like, oh, interesting. 
we've seen the original plot of the game yeah. like hundreds of times. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad they changed that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are going to jump into a new song and we will be back Perfect. afterwards. I'm Gabby, I'm joined with Quam and Lockie, and we've been talking about the new Mario movie that it has what well, well, that was released on the in April si- April the sixth, I believe. Yep. Yep. And um yeah, we've just been talking about uh what Lockie thought of it, likes, dislikes, all of that kind of stuff. Being that I'm unfortunately the only one who's seen it. Well, yes. We, yes. We I, need well, the review to see it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I, I'm now, I'm now uh, going to be taking my nephew to see it based on what you said. So, uh, you good know. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, what kind of, yeah. Who, who do you think would really enjoy this movie? Oh, from my experience and just by simply listening to the background noise of the cinema, I can easily tell it's a fun family movie for all ages and gamers alike and even the youngest of children and elderliest of adults can even get a good old laugh out of it yeah. or at least enjoy it so yeah. beautiful and i believe well i wouldn't say believe but it's almost coming to a point where <laughs> this movie might as well just be illuminations toy story yeah <laughs> Interesting. Due to how much money it's making. Yeah. Will we be getting a sequel? Do you reckon? Do you reckon there'll be a sequel? Well, apparently there are rumours of talkings of a sequel. Really? Already? Yeah, and despite how much money two. it's making. <laughs> there's already yeah. rumours of a sequel complaining. How Ooh. weird. Maybe watch this space. <laughs> and that is it from us. So we might see you next week or the week after.